Before I enter the break, uh, Keith Papo was telling us about how he uh, got into the pornography business. Not only did you get in, Keith, but you were successful, certainly from a world perspective. You had millions of dollars. You had everything that a person could want. I mean, how were you feeling at that time? Was this just feeling like normal life? Well, uh, strangely enough, I always uh, felt if I had all these worldly things that I could be loved and accepted. And I had achieved all these things. I moved to the uh, to Ventura, California. I had bought a weekend beach house, and uh, I thought, if you know, if I had cars and watches and beach homes and you know um, all that money could buy, that I would would uh, achieve happiness. Um, my wife loved yogurt, so we uh, uh, I opened a little yogurt store down near the beach for her as a hobby. And that, um, that would be the tool that changed my life. You know, but tell me, guys, we, only, we don't have much time, unfortunately. Got to get the book, folks. It's a great read. Just Breathe is what it's called. You meet this pastor, and he takes you for coffee. Huh? I mean, what were you thinking? Well, uh, actually, this is the favorite part of my story. Uh, you know, I, w I had opened a yogurt store, and I met this pastor who had moved there uh, from Seattle to start a church. And, and I'm sitting behind the cash register, and... And he just had something about him that I was attracted to. He had a, a smile, and, and uh, he looked like he was free and happy. And, and I asked him for if we could maybe have a cup of coffee. And uh, so we would meet in Starbucks, and I would tell him my story. And uh, uh, he would say, can I pray for you? And I'd say, not in Starbucks. I can't be seen praying. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, uh, I said, why don't we go to my car and pray? And then we would sit in my car and he would say, Keith, can you repeat after me? And at the time, I didn't know I was saying the sinner's prayer. And uh, afterwards, he said, you just gave your life to Jesus. It transformed you. I know, Samantha, your wife was a little skeptical. It took her a while uh, before she came around. And now you're joined together in your relationship with the Lord. But think, when, as I was reading the book, I'm getting near the end, and I'm thinking, oh, this is great. This guy's found the Lord. He's found his purpose. He's gotten out of the pornography business. He's doing positive things with his life. But one of the things you talk about, Keith, is you, you did fall back at times. Right. And, and how did you get through that? Because there would be, a, I'm sure, you felt a lot of condemnation. Yeah, I mean, I knew... Uh, Part of giving my life to Jesus was to get baptized. And I thought, well, I should at least be out of the adult industry before I get baptized. And I did. I got out of the adult industry. I got baptized. And then I uh, went to Vegas to take my daughter to her 21st birthday and uh, fell back into my addiction. And uh, when I got home, I met, you know, Jen Oaks wrote the book with me. She, and we went to meet, and I told her what had happened in Vegas. And she said... I think you just wrote a whole new chapter. And so I, she suggested maybe I would seek out a 12-step program. That, I mean, to me, that was an amazing point. She said, I, I can't write this book, man. You're, you're, you're not living the, the victorious life. Yeah. But I guess, and that would be the encouragement, I would imagine, Keith, that are those that are struggling, they've come to know the Lord, or maybe they don't know, but they've fallen back. What encouragement would you give to them? Uh, well, I, I think that you have to do some inside work. And what I have found for me that just giving my life to Jesus Christ was a start, but he gives us tools in this world to use to change ourselves from the inside out. And so I would begin to do work inside and change the re-wallpaper, uh, per se, my mind. And so th with these tools, I was able to change. Well, you have changed. You know, you went from being a distributor of pornography, making pornography, you know, to surf in yogurt and living a life for Christ and helping others that are dealing with it. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was good. Welcome to Canada. And look, maybe in the winter, I'll come and visit you down and do a little yogurt and a little surfing. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Keith. You. God bless you. And again, our prayer lines are always open. Whatever you're struggling with, pornography, addiction, those kinds of things, 1-866-273-4444. Somebody there to pray with you or help you to find the tools so you can break some of those addictions. We'll continue with more of 100 Huntley Street right after this.